Hey guys. Happy Memorial Day. Yes. Been a long weekend. Been a quick weekend. Yes. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I got done out here. Um, it's been a busy weekend for me. Um, mowing grass. Uh, yesterday I went and spent some time with my grandson. Um, I'll put a picture of me and him here. Yeah, that was, um, I ain't seen him in, it's been a while. Um, they live down in Columbus and I'm up here in Michigan, so it's like a two hour drive for both of us either way, so. Yeah, she had to come up here, my daughter, so I got to see him and we hung out for the day, a couple hours and had a blast, went to the park and, you know, did the fun stuff. But I wanted to get a video up here and I started one the other day and then got busy and didn't get to finish it up. So I thought we'd finish up with the Memorial Day one. Um, actually yesterday I went to, a little story, I went yesterday to Lowe's. Um, let's keep saying the light. Yeah, quit doing that. Um, I went to Lowe's yesterday to pick up a, a cutting wheel. And after I left there, my grandson, and uh, I can't figure out which one. They had some on sale that I went online and found. Well, I found the guy who was in the department for there, and um, he came up and I asked him, I said, where these ones were on sale? And he's like, well, we got some other ones that are um, way better, depending on what you're cutting, for the same price. So then he showed me them, and I was like, okay, cool. I'll take these. He's like, yeah, I've used them, and I'll stand by them. So I'm like, cool. So I happened to see his hat. He had the POW hat. And um, I asked him, I said, well, thank you for your service, sir. And I said, where was your station? He said, Okinawa. So then I knew he was a Marine. So my best friend was a Marine and went in for 10 years and then just like disappeared. So I have not seen him in like 20 some years and he just disappeared like off the face of the earth. So yeah, to this day we just sort of, me and him, me and the, um, Marine there at Lowe's and up having like a conversation for, I want to say like 20 minutes or almost a half hour. And my wife was getting all bored and getting frustrated, but I was just standing there talking and it was making his day on mine. Um, it was pretty cool to actually talk to somebody who was in a couple wars and did some crazy stuff. And um, he was a bomb diffuser. So we ended up having this like really long conversation and got to know him pretty good. His name was James. So this video is to him, and um, he's retired. His whole family was Navy, Marines, uh, Air Force. Um, he even had a uh, Navy SEAL in there that he couldn't positively say. I mean, Navy SEALs aren't, you know, they're there, but they aren't not there, you know? But yeah, so let's go through and take a look. And I just want to say, you know, this is a good day for them, and they were very well appreciated, and they need to be appreciated by for what they've done for us all. Keep us safe, you know, thank you. If any of your family are um, in the service or retired, thank you. Thank you very much, I really do, thank you. Um, hey guys. This is what we got to work on today. All this grass. Too much of it. These are staying the day lilies. So I got some weed down there. Inside there, I have a butterfly bush. And there we have some lilies. There we have a tree. So all this needs to be cleaned out. My combines. And I got some more lilies back there. I got some more lilies over here. Some uh, evening. Primrose, um, they're actually called, um, oh lord, it's been a minute, um, they're bright yellow, they're canary yellow, um, yeah, I guess I'll put it up in the description guys, because it's like, I cannot think of it for right now, but I will, but all this green grass here, literally took over, all this grass did, uh, my fern, look how humongous I'm our, yeah, those we're gonna probably might leave. Um, there's a couple starting to get out into the lawn, so those are gonna get dug up and transplanted into the back. Um, I gotta get this grapevine out of here. 
these are all getting ready to bloom so I gotta get this grapevine out of here and prune some of this dead stuff out of here clean this edge up because it's all gonna get mulched in eventually here same along there so that's how I get done but first day we're gonna worry about getting all this dug up out of here um, my maple just gotten humongous yeah so we're gonna do some pruning on that a little bit um, getting ready to put the flags out and everything and I thought I'd show you guys the before and after of it. Um, I got some really cool flowers here. Let me take you up here. And this is what we're going to put in there. Some really cool purple and green coleus. I have some geraniums, and these are really cool. When I went to Menards, they were like, they were literally beating their plants down with the water hose. So I saved these four here. There's four of them. And if you look close, it's a like scarlet red. Basically, I went through yesterday, or oh gosh, today's Monday, so Saturday. I went through here and cleaned out a bunch of this grass. Um, you're gonna get to see. Maybe I'll reverse it around, get you guys see the other part yesterday, and then I'll put this at the end. So yeah, um, I got some of these. These are begonias. They're really cool. Yeah, they got like a burgundy leaf and then the bright orange flower. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. But they're, these here, let me zoom back out. Um, these here are tiger lilies. Uh, if you don't know what a tiger lily is, I'll put a picture up here with it. Yeah, that's what these here are. Um, and these get very big. Um, they're going to grow about another about six inches, eight inches, and then they'll bloom. And they're awesome. I love them. Um, I have some more over there. This is my butterfly bush that I just heard said I had to dig out. Um, this one here is a uh, this bright green one is a flowering almond. Um, that's the butterfly bush right there. So I did survive. It made it. I put up some flags. Put that in there. But the biggest thing I did which came around here and took all this grass out as you see I didn't get all the way down there yet um, I still got some stuff to do so I dug out around the um, combine put in these uh, the two coleus yeah them go really good with the grass and the um, tree the colors just blend really well and I found this fuchsia Salosia. The color is just amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's not red. It's purple. It's a fuchsia. I mean, it's just like a fuchsia flower. They're amazing. Um, plants anymore are just outrageous. So I'm going to be adding to a lot of this. I still got to get my mulch in here. But I took all this back to there. Brought my clumps back to accent my tree. And yeah. So that's where we're at now, guys. Um, it's been a while since I've had a vlog up here. And if you painters watch it, are watching this, um, the people who like my paintings and stuff, I'm gonna be doing some, um, I got some new creativity that I'm gonna bring out with it. I wanna do some saw blades and some hand saws. Um, I have a couple in there that I wanna get painted because I'm planning on having me a yard sale with all my, um, my bottles that I painted, um, just a bunch of different little stuff, and I want to get them out here. I'm going to do a couple of those uh, blades I have, some old blades laying around, and I've seen them. I have a lot of projects coming up, guys. I've been doing like three videos here at a time in between working, working on my yard, trying to get videos made up, and it's like there ain't enough time in the day. I mean, really. So I wanted to let you guys know, um, some painting videos are coming up. I got a paint, it's gonna be a paint pour called, it's called, and the paint pour is gonna be a, a space scene to show you guys how to do something really creative, um, different when you're painting a, a painting scene, you know, um, a space scene. So I know you got, there's a lot of painters on here that just came on, and I thank you guys for subscribing. It's awesome, I appreciate it so much. Every once in a while I go on there and it's like, wow, another new one, another new one. 
And so I'm going to work on some painting stuff for you guys in between the outside videos. Um, I just have so much to do out here that I've been trying to take advantage of when the night of nice days. And then between that I work. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's keeping busy. Let me tell you. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a safe, responsible, and enjoying weekend. Um, I appreciate you watching my videos. I really do. It means a lot. Please hit that like button and share. Please. It's free to subscribe. So tell your friends, please. I could use your subscribers. Um, content's going to be coming up here. I'm getting busy. I'm trying to get my projects done so I can concentrate more on you guys. I got a drone yet that I got to break out and get charged and get up in the air. But the weather just hasn't been good enough to be flying no drone around. You know what I mean? So I got a drone. I want to get up and get going, take it to the park and all different kinds of places with it, you know. Um, but yeah, I got, I'm trying to get my backyard done by the 4th of July so I can actually sit back here and enjoy it and have the enjoyment of my yard and cook out and do the whole thing. But it's just been, oh man, I can only do so much in a day. Like today it's 85 degrees, so I worked where I could, got what I could done. Um, like I said, I did that the other day, it was a little bit cooler. So yeah, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and I'm going to try to get as many of the, um, let's get that light. This light, the sun's going down. Yeah, it's all over there. Sometimes I get some really cool sunsets. Um, I might even put one up in here. Oh, uh, the one I got the other day, it was really awesome. But yeah, like I said, be patient guys, we got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, within this next week or so, I should have a bunch of videos coming up one behind the other behind the other behind the other so because i'm gonna be spending as much time editing them as i i mean i got like so much footage i have to go through so that's why i figured i'd make these short and simple about what's going on and where we're at i'm gonna be doing some more dumpster diving but um it's just been raining like three four days a week so it's like yeah i don't want to go play in the dumpster juice you know so i usually wait till it warms up and it dries up a little bit and then the dumpsters are nice and dry before they get too smelly you know um and ranky but yeah i want to do some of that here but i gotta get things organized and where i got time and room and space to concentrate on bringing stuff home and all that kind of stuff if you're gonna do it so yeah uh i still got a thing of pallets there those gotta be taken care of those are my next project right there so yeah So yeah, guys, um, I'm going to be making some cool little things that you guys are going to be interested in, I think, um, for the fourth. So just keep watching, guys. And like I said, hit that like button. Please share and subscribe. It's free. So peace. Have a great weekend, guys. Later.